So one of my favorite tea stories, and one I, I've told many times, is uh, the story of, um, it's a story about Dragon Well Tea, um, which is from Hangzhou, China. And the story says that um, basically in the, in the Qing dynasty, the last dynasty in China, um, the emperor, one of the good emperors who actually like left the capital and went around, he was on one of his southern tours, as they called it, and, um, and he went to Hangzhou, he stopped at Hangzhou, and he basically, he was like hanging out at, um, near the tea gardens, and he was watching the women pluck tea, and he thought it looked pretty fun, so he decided to join, and he's um, plucking fresh tea, and at the time, you know, they had these big, long sleeves, so he starts to put the tea in his sleeves. And um, while he's doing this, uh, his um, messenger comes up and tells him, um, you know, Emperor, the Empress is really, really sick. Uh, we have to leave immediately and go back to the capital. Um, and so he, you know, immediately gets in his carriage and they head back to the capital. <clears throat> and he gets to the Empress's bedside and you know, this is like, there were no cars at the time, it took a couple days. Um, and he, in the meantime, he had totally forgotten about the tea in his sleeves. Um, and he approaches the Empress and she says, you know, what is that intoxicating, beautiful smell emanating from you? And, um, and it turns out it was the, the tea in his sleeves, which had been wilting and drying. He takes the leaves out of his uh, sleeves and he makes her a, a cup of tea and of course, she is then cured by this wonderful tea. And from that time, he, because of this tea, he decided to set up a small imperial garden uh, in Hangzhou with 18 tea bushes just for his use, for them to make tea from these special bushes and send it to the emperor.